Now, from the studios of Into Tomorrow in Miami, this is ITTV. Our next guest's company created a first-of-its-kind augmented reality platform to reach consumers from product labels. It's very cool. Joining us from Australia, down under, is the co-founder of a company called Swigger, Luke Chaffee. Luke, welcome into tomorrow. How are you, sir? Thanks, Dave. Nice to have you. Uh, thanks, thanks for having me. Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm really good. It's it's our pleasure. Tell me about the company Swigger, S W I G R, and Swigger.com. Tell me about the company. Yeah, for sure. So we are a company who is trying to grow in the alcohol sphere. So we are uh, produced an app called Swigger, which is allows uh, a user to download the app from the app store. Uh, head to a, a can that's on the on the app itself and scan it, and through the power of augmented reality, uh, find out more through visual content and more about the brand and, and get engaged with the brand. Um, from a brewery's perspective or from any alcohol brand's perspective, they're able to simply head to the website and sign up for their own accounts and register their labels on the app so their users can find it and experience the augmented reality uh, experience. And of course, I want to remind our radio and podcast audience that if you are not yet seeing or haven't seen the video of this interview with Luke, so you see exactly what we're talking about. We've got some video showing you uh, what Swigger does and how well it works and how much fun it looks. Uh, so how hard is it for a brand uh, to get augmented reality uh, with or without Swigger? I'm guessing you make it easy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, the whole purpose of Swigger is to make getting augmented reality for packaging uh, a lot easier of a, of a process. So typically, uh, if you want to get augmented reality on your packaging, you'd be looking at trying to find a developer, trying to get someone to actually create and come up with a, a whole experience uh, that, that shows when you scan the product, and then also find the technology then to implement that. Uh, what we've done is take away a lot of those barriers, uh, especially being those of needing any technical knowledge and also uh, reducing price way down. So for us, we're uh, currently offering $99 per month uh, for a label. Uh, and all they have to do is provide us uh, the, the actual print label itself, uh, the physical product, and then they're able to just upload videos, images, text into a backend and the platform will do the rest and, and create the augmented reality experience for them. So this beverage label actually sort of comes to life uh, with the augmented reality, and that's kind of the cool thing about it. Yeah. Uh, and there's really nothing else involved. The, the manufacturers don't have to do anything. They don't have to change their labeling or add something to their labeling in the manufacturing process. No, exactly. So one of the uh, one of the real strong points that we wanted to make sure at the start was that it didn't require a brewer to or, or a brand to change their packaging. Uh, we wanted to be able to take their pre-existing packaging and enhance it from there. And so, no need to change your packaging at all. Uh, it purely takes the label. It looks at it, looks at the little details on the label itself, <laughs> and uh, identifies and tracks. And, and holds on to it from from that perspective. So does your team then, Luke, uh, create this animation, if you will, this augmented reality reaction? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So part of our job here is um, one, uh, having the platform for them to do it, uh, but we also are creating a number of different uh, we call scenes uh, in the experience mm -hmm. uh, to be able to show uh, content in different ways. So whether that's a video that wraps all the way around the can or it's a game that plays through on their can directly. Uh, our, our job here is to try and give them as many different options uh, to, to give their brand uh, a unique experience in the market. And for those listening, not yet having been able to see our video of your interview, uh, give us some examples of some of the content that's available then with Swigger. What is it that if someone points their phone to uh, a beverage can, for example, might they see or what might happen? Absolutely. So some of the examples uh, are things like the can will come to life. That is, uh, we we have uh, cans that currently you scan it and they start to move on their own. And it's pretty cool uh, little uh, piece. Now, the, the can moves or, or things around the can the, are moving? The, the, the virtual experience makes the can look like it's moving gotcha. uh, in, in the experience. Um, but we have other pieces in there as well uh, around... Uh, 
promotions, uh, being able to, to get uh, exclusive discounts through the app. Uh, but then other sides as well are things like uh, we have a social wall uh, and that takes the power of uh, Instagram and brings it into the app as well. And simply what we're asking is for users to post on Instagram with uh, the two hashtags that's associated to that brand, which they can see by scanning the can. Mm -hmm. And you have the chance to shop directly on the can yourself. Um, other ones though that we've been developing recently are things like um, playing basketball on the can, playing uh, beer invaders is what we've called it, but a cake <laughs> of space invaders. Uh, and we've, we've got a few other ones in development that, um, are quite early on. So I don't really want to go <laughs> too much into detail on them, but oh, come on, I, w I won't tell anyone just, just <laughs> tell us what, uh, what you're doing. No, I, I there understand. Is, there's one that we're sort of a bit more closer on and it's a voting style sequence. Uh, so sort of like being able to, um, visually replace the entire label with different variations and having your, your fans effectively, uh, voting on oh. which one they think is the coolest. Uh -huh. And the way we kind of hope a brand would use it is that they effectively have like a, a little competition in house, almost like not, a, not like a, a drawing competition or something like that, but like mm -hmm. having people design different labels and then having your fans of your brewery, uh, be able to vote on which one they think is the coolest and should go with next. I think that's fascinating because not only does it help the company with marketing, uh, but now you're really getting some good feedback from your consumers. <laughs> and can I assume, Luke, that there's no charge for the consumer to have the app to make this happen, uh, to make these cans come to life, or is there a charge for the app? No, you're exactly right. The the only charge that we put in place is for the actual labels to be registered in the system. So for a, for a user wanting to scan the, uh, the labels, all they have to do is head to the app store, down the app, download the app, sorry, and uh, they're able to hit scan and, and scan any participating labels. I think this is pretty cool, but now the obvious question, are there plans for other than beverage cans? I mean, can you do this uh, with other products as well? Maybe with clothing that comes to life or, or for, I mean, anything you'd find. There's, we did an interview recently where they said there's an average of 27,000 products at a grocery store. Uh, you know, so it seems like your, your market is endless almost, uh, but will we be able to do this with other products? Absolutely. So our parent company, uh, Immersia, is currently looking at different um, avenues to go down. Uh, so Immersia uh, effectively is the, the overarching brand that's got the platform that's then trying to bring it into different markets. Um, and so for Immersia, we already have uh, Swigger, which is for alcohol uh, in general. And then we, we start off as a first iteration with wine retail which is augmented reality for wine. Oh, and very cool. That one's been in the market a little bit longer than Swigger um, and is is a similar a similar concept just for wines and different, um, different scenes is the main differences between them. Yeah. But we are working towards um, other avenues then as well, um, where we're trying to explore uh, different um, options with uh, portraying content for packaging. Uh, so the, the trickiest part to me comes down to how one product may want to present, present one realm of information and then another product might want to present another realm. And it's just, it's trying to figure out how they best sort of sit from an app perspective. Yeah. Um, but we, we have um, produced other examples as well uh, around uh, like holograms playing through the packaging itself and giving informational and structural information uh, about that product. Um, and we did one recently for Bayer Pharmaceuticals um, for their global innovation team in Switzerland, uh, which was awesome. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. And, and I imagine that it's really great marketing for any brand, because if you can walk down an aisle and uh, maybe there's a, a sign that says, you know, check out the virtual reality or augmented reality uh, on this yeah. product, what do you mean? You know, point your phone here and people can get info or it jumps out of its package. Or I'm more inclined to want to buy something like that because of the fact that they're using technology to help sell it, but it becomes yeah. more interesting. And then the more I thought about it when I talked about, you know, clothing, a shirt or something, that would become very difficult, I guess, unless there are logos on the shirt so that you can yeah. identify <laughs> something. You know, if it's yeah, just a t-shirt, what do you do, you know? Yeah, there is some complexities when you get to that level <laughs> of yeah. things. So but we ultimately, I guess, see 
that um, the product we, we're trying to get to, to a sort of longer goal of the product being the source of its own information. And that being that you're able to scan it to find out anything about that product, yeah. whether it's pricing, uh, marketing, uh, availability, or all, all the different pieces that you would probably want of a of a product. That's that's the long shot goal. Yeah, it's quite. Well, how, how about even something like maybe the nutrition guide that a yeah. lot of us tend to wish we had our reading glasses with us, but we, we want to look before we buy something. Maybe nutrition can pop up and some animation will tell you, you know, what is it you're looking for? Well, I'm looking for carbs or some lack of carbs or this or that, yeah. where something, you know, will, will kind of interact with you, uh, which makes life easier for you too, and help sell the product, hopefully. Mm. And where we're trying to move towards as well is um, trying to move into a, a conversational hologram mm. that is uh, a person appearing next to the product or associated with the product that you're able to ask any questions to it. And because of, we have all the information around it, uh, it's able to provide an accurate and uh useful uh, response back to you. Well, wow, sure. As, as, as if I don't oh. look strange enough in public, I can see it now where people are <laughs> going to say, that's Dave and he's talking to himself or he's talking <laughs> to that box of cookies. What the heck? Just just buy them and eat them. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> but I see how that can actually be a very cool marketing tool. And like I said, I would I would be more inclined to want to pay attention to that product. And I guess if, if you're doing something like a, a, you know, a little VR where you can talk or ask a question uh, to a, a product spokesperson, uh, mm. maybe I can be one of your first. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, where you can also get answers, that's better than trying to find somebody who's never around to help when you might have a question about a product. And, yeah. uh, and what a great thing for the brand to be able to pay attention to and say, hey, we're in, you know, we're absolutely, and maybe that stuff is all stored in a cloud where it's not a big deal and, and it just accesses that info real quick based on a question or a keyword or, or something of that nature. I think, I think it's fascinating. Mm. Oh, yeah, there's so many different uh, possibilities. And yes, yeah, so we'll try to get you as the first spokesperson for a box of cookies so you can talk to yourself. <laughs> Great. Uh, or a beer or any other refreshing yeah. beverage, whatever, you know, just something that might be kind of fun to do. And, and then yeah. that just means I have to talk more about it on the air. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is fascinating. We invite our audience to visit your site. There's a great video, if you, again, if you've not been seeing this video yet of this interview with Luke Chaffee, the co-founder of Swigger. Uh, on their site, you can see a very cool video as well, swigr.com, swigger.com. And uh, we wish you well. I think it's fascinating and continue to expand because by all means, as you well know, there's a lot more than just beverages where you wanna have this sort of augmented reality. I think it's, it's terrific, keep it up. Thanks, Dave. Our pleasure. Again, Luke Chaffee, the co-founder of Swigger at Swigger, S-W-I-G-R dot com. When you visit us, we'll be getting you there. Of course, one mouse click away from all of our guest sites. So hit us up at intotomorrow.com at your convenience. Meantime, I'm Dave Graveline. Stay tuned. There's much more to come as Into Tomorrow continues right here on the Advanced Media Network.